Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all of you that are watching on a regular basis. We've gotten a lot of really good uh, feedback recently. I've gotten a lot of comments where people are stating that they're catching more fish and catching new personal bests based on information that we've shared on the video. And that's really what I want to do. I'm trying to create a central database for fishing information that people can come to to help them become better anglers. And at the same time, I'm learning from you guys, which is even an added bonus. And I'm really enjoy doing it. So uh, thank you to all of you that are giving me positive feedback. For those of you that have left suggestions for future videos, thank you very much. I'm putting them on my list. I've got a list right now of you know several hundred video ideas. So I'm going to get to them. I just don't know when. So just stay tuned. You'll have to continue to watch. Uh, but I'm sure I'll get to them at some point. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It, it has to do with a bait that, in my opinion, has gone almost completely forgotten about. For a while, it was a bait that a lot of people were using to catch numbers of fish and quality fish for multiple different species across the country. And in my opinion, it has gone almost completely dark on this bait you hear very few people talking about it there have been some new baits that have come out that kind of have taken the place of the bait and specifically what i'm talking about is the old three or four inch grub you know your straight twister tail grub i can't tell you guys how good of a fish catching tool this little bait is but it is very very underutilized these days you know, with the advent of some of the small swim baits, the little 2.8, 3.3, and 3.8 uh, power swimmers and Kitex, and, you know, pretty much every brand out there right now has a small swim bait, that has almost entirely replaced the swimming grub, the little 3 and 4 inch grub. But I got to tell you, you know, when I was younger, this was one of the first baits that truly got me hooked. On bass fishing you know at that time I was throwing a Kaleen's grub uh, which I believe is still made maybe it's not but that's you know that bait I would just remember fishing off the bank and I was catching numbers of you know all different species and it still guys catches fish but it has been forgotten about I mean I'll tell you you know back then I would just throw it on a light jig head now when I do use it I'll still throw it on you know a, a Dirty Jigs, Matt Stuff, and Guppy Head. It works great on there. Generally, in my opinion, what you're looking for is a 90 degree line tie on the jig head that you choose. A light, uh, the lighter the weight that you can get away with, the better. Personally, I like to throw it like on a eighth or three sixteenth ounce, and I'll fish it similar to how I fish the, the smaller swim baits. I like to throw it out and I like to tight line it. I like to engage the reel and let it pendulum down through the water column to the depth that I want to get it at. And then at that point, I just slow retrieve it. You know, any any of the smoke colors, you know, smoke pepper or your cinnamons, uh, you know, those are great bait fish imitated colors. And, you know, the last couple times out where I have thrown these, I got to tell you, they have produced pretty much as well as the small grubs. And I think that has to do, or the small swim baits. And I think that has to do with the fact that nobody throws them anymore. The fish are not conditioned to this bait. And again, they are extremely lifelike looking in the water. I also have to tell you guys that this is a phenomenal trailer for your swim jigs. Uh, it's also a good, a good to put on the back of a spinner bait or a buzz bait. Uh, it's just something that gives you a little kicking motion. It adds some weight to the body to allow you to cast your bait better. And, you know, it draws more strikes. But for me, this was my primary trailer for my swim jigs for the first three or four years that I was throwing a swim jig. I have since moved away from it, but I have no concern putting on a small grub as my trailer. Uh, it's just one of those things that for whatever reason, I feel like we, as we as a fishing community, have moved away from it. But if you're fishing clear water, spotted bass, smallmouth, largemouth, suspended fish, it is a great bait for trailers. It's a great bait, and you know it's just something I cannot really recommend enough. You know, if you're looking to just catch fish, 
a grub is a great way to go. And it's one, one of those things that at this point in our fishing, you know, fishing world that they just get completely underutilized. So if you're looking to try something different, guys, I highly recommend putting on your little grub, your little twister tail, and getting out there, putting it on a lightweight, and just throw it out, straight retrieve it, a nice steady pace. You'll generate a lot of strikes. If you've got little kids that are trying, you know, that you want to get them into fishing, you're not sure what they can use, again, very simple, straightforward bait that they can easily use and catch fish with an exposed hook. You don't have to worry about hookups. Uh, just a, a, a great bait that we've forgotten about. So I'm saying to you guys, you should put your grubs on, go out, throw them around, and just see, are you going to catch more fish on it or not? Uh, again, we have forgotten about this bait, and I don't think we should have. Let me know in the comments section, what are your favorite twister tails, your small grubs? Is it a Mr. Twister? Is it a Kalings? You know, this one right here is an Assault. You know, I don't know if they still even make assaults. This is, you know, one I bought a pile of back in the day, and I've still got a bunch. Uh, again, guys, you know, the double tail, twister tail makes a great jig trailer. Why have we forgotten about the single grub? So throw it up in the comments section. Let us know if you like using them and if there's a specific brand that you like so that the rest of us who haven't used them or the rest of those out there that have not used them and who are new to the sport can go find one that they know and immediately will have confidence in works well for them. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video.